So I made a mistake and I'm going to have to break the tank down. Reefers, it's your girl Blue Damsel. Welcome back to another video. Today I've got some sad news for you. We're breaking down this tank. I made a mistake. The mistake is I started off too small. Already upgrading the tank. We're breaking it down because we are upgrading. Upgrading the tank. So this is a five and a half gallon and I'm just upgrading to a 10 gallon. And you're probably wondering why a 10 gallon? Why not just go bigger, right? Go bigger, go home. So this tank is actually upstairs in the home office. See, stairs, stairs right there. With it being on the second floor, you don't wanna put something too, too heavy. My biggest fear is for the tank to like fall through the floor. <laughs> So I feel comfortable with a 10 gallon. So we're getting a 10 and I'm really excited because I just did my water test yesterday. I've been testing mostly every single day. My nitrites are at zero, ammonia is at zero. So we have to do a water change. I've known for a week already that I'm going to upgrade it, but I wanted to wait for water change day and that day is today. So I dropped some more rock, probably about a pound more, just to kind of cure the rock to get more rock into the tank. 10 gallon. I also moved around the furniture. So before the stand was right here and I kind of didn't like that look. I like it much better like this. So we're headed to Petco to go buy a 10 gallon tank. The good thing is all I need is glass and a cover. Oh my God, so I made another mistake. <laughs> ah, I left my water jug at home. So now I have to go back home, just bought the tank, which is fine. I'll drop off the tank at, at the house and then I have to go to the fish store so I can get some water, get some sand, some salt, and some fish food. Cause I actually have a fish coming in next week. So I almost forgot. I wanted to get a, like a self priming pumping vacuum siphon thingy. <laughs> I don't want it to suck water. And I know for a fact that my local fish store doesn't have it either, which is where we're going to buy water. So now I have to stop at PetSmart. I know for a fact that PetSmart has it. I saw it there. I should have just bought it when I saw it. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know. I don't know. It's okay. We're visiting three local fish stores, pet stores today. It's okay. PetSmart, Petco, and my local fish store, CoraLogic. Perfect. Ah, oh, they got it. Perfect, perfect. The adventures of reefing. <laughs> Let's transfer our five to a 10. Oh, and that's why you clean your tank. Oh no. So I just noticed it's really scratched up right here. You can see it right there. You see all that scratch? Ooh, that's really bad. I did not notice that in the store. That sucks. I will tell you, I did get 20% off for it though. So I'm not gonna fight about it too, too much. We'll just make sure that we put that side toward the back. Bro, you're making a mess. Ah! No, am I gonna have to suck? I'm gonna suck. I'm just gonna suck for the sake of time. I don't wanna have to suck water. Lightning? Did you see that? I feel like it shouldn't be this difficult, honestly. Where are the instructions? Squeeze the siphon ball three to five times until siphoning begins. I did that. Some gravel. I did that. Ugh. It's not working guys, see? So if you haven't figured it out yet, where I went wrong here is I ended up putting the intake tube in the output side and the output tube in the intake side. So it would never suck that way. I ended up figuring this out much later on, but at this point I just ended up emptying the tank with a bowl. You could uh, use a yoga mat. So I've used yoga mats in the past. Since it's much smaller, a towel should be just fine. It's perfect. Ooh, that one's like diarrhea. <laughs> Here comes another chunk. Ooh, it was 
was at McDonald's I ate, see? Ooh, I tell you, I'm a genius. So much fun. <laughs> Looks so much better. That was another thing, it was driving me crazy because the other one, for the stand it was on, it just looked so tiny. <laughs> the stand was this big and I had like a little itty bitty 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 tank on it. And that's it, we're done. Five to ten. Magic. Woo that's it guys for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm really excited about my 10 gallon. It looks so much better, so much roomier. I think it'll be the perfect size for what I need for right now as my home office tank. There she is. I need to clean up this mess. I made a huge mess. Mess all over, the, all over, just mess. But thank you guys. I will have plenty of updates. Our next update is going to be our fish. I'm getting my fish in a couple of days, so I'm really excited. Fish has a, a bigger home now, so the fish will be excited. Uh, we also gotta figure out what the rock, we don't know what it looks like. <laughs> we can't see through that mess, so I don't know what it looks like. So I'm also going to see what it looks like tomorrow, play around with the rock. I'm supposed to be getting my light today. Let, let's go check the door. <gasps> that looks like a light. Oh, perfect timing. We will talk about lighting in a separate video. For now, I'm just, look at this. When I started, I was all brushed. Now I'm just all. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some rest, much needed rest. Thanks again for joining, guys. Until next time, remember to just keep swimming and I'll see you in the next video. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do with swim?